It was because they were out of their depth. Because you couldn't have a bakoko just come from Arua just the other day. She has never managed such a huge amount of money. Now you, you, you give her billions, and now she's bound to run into problems. The president says National Social Security Fund collects 33 billion shillings per month, which was beyond Bakoko Bakoru's managerial skills. As then Minister for Labor, Gender and Social Development, Bakoko's docket included running NSSF. NSSF was later transferred to the Minister of Finance. After the 8 billion shilling scandal involving the Nsimbe housing estates deal, Bakoko fled to the United States in 2006 and has been there since then. The president, who was responding to the workers' demands at Entebbe cricket grounds, directed those in touch with the exiled former minister to bring her back. Somebody should look for Wakoko and bring her back. <laughs> Turning to the theme of the day, consolidating and recognizing the workers' role in production and development, the president advised those concerned with the country's economic growth to focus on the basic fundamentals such as electricity, water and infrastructure development. He urged Ugandans to improve on their labor productivity levels so that they can be more productive in the East African region and even beyond. A number of retired professionals and pioneers were awarded with the Order of the Nile and the Crested Crane Medals of Honor during the celebrations. Among them was industrialist James Mlana, academician Professor Sente Zakajubi, and trailblazer Dr. Josephine Nambozo. Hilara Esiga, NTV. <laughs>